Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show how to install kubectl on your Windows machine. And in my previous video, I've shown you how to create a cluster. So let me navigate to the cluster in Azure portal. And that's the cluster which we have created in our previous uh, video. You see the icon connect, please click on this. And you can see a uh, few commands given uh, by Microsoft that helps us to go ahead and explore the cluster. Yes, of course, we can do that using the uh, cloud ship, but I want to demonstrate using my local machine. So in order to execute the uh, kubectl commands, I need to have the kubectl package installed on my local machine. So here is the documentation link, which says how to install and set up kubectl on Windows. All right, so we need to uh, meet the prerequisites. Before installing the uh, kubectl, we need to make sure that chocolate or scoop is installed on your local machine. So that's not covered in this video. All right, so let me quickly see what do we need to do. So this is the installation of binaries. So I don't want to take a binary approach because I do have uh, uh, Choco installed on my machine. So I can copy this command Choco install Kubernetes and let's try to execute this. Okay, let's Right, so Chaco install Kubernetes hyphen CLI. It's installing the packages, so that's good. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. All right, so let me give a confirmation to run a script. That's good. Good, that was quick. I've got uh, Kubernetes hyphen CLI packages installed. Let's confirm if that works. So I'm just running a kubectl command. Good. I've not done any additional steps. All I did is just executed this and I can uh, check the version of the kubectl. Okay, that gives the version over here. That's good. I got the response back. We are all set. So now let's go to the Azure portal and try to execute the commands here. So I'm going to copy this, paste it. So that's going to set the subscription uh, context. And then I'm going to run AZ AKS get credentials. So the output of this is it's going to have the cube config uh, information locally. So let me show you how that works. So if I open up this and execute the uh, command, what is the response we are going to get? So the response here says merged K8 dev as current context. So it set the context to the Azure Kubernetes cluster. So all the uh, credentials and other informations are available in this particular location. I'm not going to explore that now. That's okay. All I need to do is I want to make sure whether I can communicate to my cluster. So let me copy this command. This is plan going to get all the kubectl deployments. I don't have any deployments though, but just shall, I'm trying to execute it and see. Uh, yeah, of course I do have a cube system namespace deployment. I don't have any namespace created. I've not deployed anything on it. It's just the infrastructure uh, out of the box uh, uh, namespace, which is available once I created the cluster. All right, so we have got a couple of other commands to execute too, but uh, we have not done anything. So it's not going to uh, so many purpose. So in this video, uh, we have seen how to uh, install kubectl and how do we go and explore, connect and explore the uh, uh, cluster. We have got a lot more commands uh, available. We are going to explore that in our upcoming video. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks a lot.